Hi everyone, this is Lisa with Lisa's Coloring Corner. If you're new here, hi and welcome to the channel. And if you're back, welcome back. Quite a while ago, Spectrum Noir came out with their Tri Blend Brush version of their markers. Now, a few years ago, I did a swatching video of their original Tri Blend markers that they came out with, and that was with the bullet tips. And they got a bunch of feedback um, in regard to wanting brush versions of their markers because it's so much easier to blend. Um, kind of hard to blend with those um, with the bullet tips. So they came out with the brush tips. Now I have both sets here. This is the first set. It's called the Complete Collection. And then this is called the Extended Collection. So there are uh, 48 in total. And then each pen has three colors um, in it. If you're not familiar with the Tri-Blend um, markers, I will go over how they look and how they work. Okay, so let's take a look at what they look like. Now again, this is the original set. And then they came out with that extended set. So they are quite long markers. So here it says brush. It gives you the color names um, of the three um, shades in this marker. Now these go according to these names um, are from their original set of the Spectrum Noir markers because Spectrum Noir has a whole line of their original markers. These colors they have taken from that large set, put them together in this one marker. So they picked three colors that they thought would blend together nicely. So for instance, this is Burnt Orange Blend. So they took their B01, B03, and B04 to blend together. You will notice we have a lighter ring here, a mid-tone, and the darker ring here. So it kind of gives you an idea of what is where. We do have the color name on the end of both or both ends of the marker. So what does tri-blend mean? Tri-blend means there are three colors in this one marker. So you pull off this cap. Oh, and that is a nice brush tip. I have not looked at these yet. <laughs> like I said, I have the complete collection of the uh, the bullet nibs, um, which are great for just, you know, coloring in. But again, it was hard to blend. So then you pull off this middle section and you get the second color in the blend. And then you turn it around and you get the third color in the blend. So they give you a light, medium, and dark color in that color family to blend. And that is how all of the markers are set up. They are hexagonal in shape. Makes it a little bit harder to put the covers on rather than being just round. But the benefit of that is they don't roll off your desk. <laughs> Okay, so I have um, a color chart here that I am going to fill in. This is the tritone markers from the bullet tips, which I did do a um, swatch video of mm, probably a couple years ago. If I can find it, I'll link that video down below in the description. So I created this color chart. Yes, took me a long time to do because <laughs> I create all my color charts in Word, MS Word, in table format. Um, so yeah, that, this took a while to do. 
likewise this one but I could reuse this and you know make this one um, so this one I have the brush markers now I did notice when I created this one they don't have all of the same colors as they did in their bullet tip set um, there are a few colors that are different so I'm going to be curious to see what they um, changed in the brush tip I'm hoping um, that like for instance this gold yellow there is such a huge jump between GY3 and GY5 and to me that's hard to blend together so it'd be nice if they would have went to GY4 so some of them yeah they they do a huge jump in color this one's a little hard that's the burnt orange so I want to see if they kept that the same um, this one's a little but that one's not too bad and yet some of them are so similar <laughs> like ice blue these two you know IB1 and IB2 you know that they're real similar so most of them are great though this is kind of a jump too but it is DG2 and DG3 so you know and then these are the rest of them to me alpine green that's a huge jump and that's from AG1 to AG3 so I think they should have done AG2 not sure how they determined what colors to use um, so yeah this is what the bullet tip versions of the tritone markers look like so let's swatch out the brush tip versions uh, let me get a sheet of cardstock to swatch on and I want one that's relatively clean because otherwise when I'm swatching whatever's on there bleeds through and it doesn't give you a an accurate picture of what the colors are so this one's a nice sheet I have no idea what order <laughs> these boxes are in let me put this over here because I'm right-handed okay I do see the yellow ones that is citrus gold yellow and light yellow okay so again we are going to go and in the brush tip uh, these brushes themselves it does list like ly1 ly2 and ly3 and then it does say dark mid and light okay so i'm going to zoom you in now i've had these on at my desk forever and i'm just now getting to the video so here is ly1 ly2 and again you turn it around and ly3 so very nice blend there okay then we have citrus ct1 ct3 and ct4 look at them nice bright yellows so again that's a nice succession of colors we have gold yellow so we have gy1 oh that's pretty looks like a pale pale orange doesn't it yeah gy3 and gy5 yeah again that's quite the jump that would be harder to blend okay we have fair skin they are kind of go uh, going in order in this box fs6 look at that beautiful pale skin tone 
FS7. And FS8. Nice. That would be a nice, nice blend. Then we have Fair Skin Extended. FS3. FS4. Turn it around and FS5. Now, I wouldn't necessarily say like this would be fair skin, but you know, these are definitely more on the coral sides. And <laughs> next, speak of the devil, we have coral. Okay, so we have CR1. CR6, that's quite a jump. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that's that's not good. <laughs> and CR11. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I would say that that's not a good I good selection there. Here is coral extended. Now they're still beautiful colors, but I think they would be hard to blend. CR3, CR4, oh, isn't that a pretty color? And, oh my gosh, we make a jump from 4 to 10. Yeah, another big jump. These two colors are very similar, aren't they? So maybe you could take, you know, the CR1, CR3, and CR4. And then, you know, like the 10 and 11, because they're all in the CR families, or family. So you could make your own blend, too. And there's nothing saying you can't go from one color family to another, you know, like LY1 to CT3, or, you know, what have you. So we have a burnt orange. This is the one where I thought it jumped quite a bit in the bullet tip version. So we have B01 or BO, BO, BO2, and BO4. Yeah, see, it's still a big jump. And dark red. Come up to here. Is that what it is? Yes. Okay. Good. We are going in order. All right. You can see the initial lettering goes according to the color name. And am I truly stuck? Hmm. Let me double check something. Oh no, now I think it caught up. <laughs> it was just stuck um, while I was looking at it. So we shall continue. All right, dark, dark red DR1. That is a nice, nice red DR4. And... DR7. Ooh, very dark. Beautiful color, but again, I. Mm. Um, pale pink. PP1. Isn't that a beautiful pastel pink? And we have PP4. And PP. Six. Again, huge jump. I don't know who decided what colors to include in these markers. So, you know, a lot of times I just use the color on their own. I don't use them as blends. Um, but for those of you who would use them as blends, again, I think I would mix them up, like maybe go from a CR3 to a PP4. 
Anyhow, pale pink extended PP2. PP3. And PP5. Another huge jump. But here we do have PP1, 2, 3, and 4. So you could go 1, 2, maybe 4. All up to you. We do have Magenta. MG1. Pretty pink. MG3. I apologize for the shadow. I have my light on behind me. MG5. Okay, then we have bright pink. BP1. That is a bright pink. BP4. Oh, them are pretty. And BP7. Oh, another huge jump. I'm going to go turn off my overhead light and just use the lights that I have by my desk. One moment. Okay, much better. It's very dark in this room now. Um, I just have my two overhead lights. Um, but it's much better for, for recording. So... I have enough light to see what I'm doing anyhow. So we have bright pink extend. So we have BP2. BP5. Oh, aren't them pretty colors? Come on. <laughs> and BP6. Now that's a nice one. This is a little bit of a jump, but. All right, then we have antique pink. We have AP1, so there's a little bit of gray in this. AP3. And AP4. Yeah, that's a nice one too. Let's go to the top of the next column. We have hydrangea. Make sure, yep. So we have HB1, beautiful pale purple. HB2 and HB3. So that's gorgeous. Right, dusty purple, DP1, DP3, ooh, big jump there, and DP4. Okay, we then have Pink Violet, PV1, very pale, PV4, no, PV3, sorry, and then PV4. Oh, isn't that a beautiful purple? Again, kind of a jump there. Lavender. Oh, some of these covers are on very tight, but as you use them, they do loosen up a little. LV1, at least they did on my other set. LV2 and LV3. Yeah, that's a nice one. Then we have purple. 
PL1. To me, that is not purple. PL3. Oh, look at that. Yeah, that would be a hard one. Sorry about that. My doggy decided to start barking. Uh, then we have PL5. Yeah, another hard one. <laughs> But the colors on their own, like I said, are beautiful. All right, we have ice blue. So now we're going to get into the blues. IB1. Oh, isn't that pretty? IB2. That's nice. And IB3. Yeah, that's a nice one. How many of you have the original Spectrum Noir markers? I do not have any of them. True Blue TB1. There's what, a couple hundred? A little over a hundred colors. TB4. Another huge jump. And TB8. These are very juicy, though. I do have the Spectrum Noir Illustrator markers. I don't use them all. They're brush tip. I don't use them all that often, I should say. The brush tip, to me, is very soft. It's not like, a, say, a, a Copic, or even your more budget-friendly, like an Ohuhu. It's very soft and pliable, and I'm not a big fan. <laughs> so here we have the True Blue Extend. So maybe we can use some from, you know, here and blend. And I must have an error here. What is it? Now with no lights on, hardly, I can't see. It is TV3. Let me correct that. I don't think we would have a TV23. <laughs> <laughs> okay, TB3. Oh, I love it. So you definitely could use that in between. TB5. Could use this before that one. And TB7. Yeah, this would be a nice jump in colors. And then maybe this. So yeah, it's nice when they have that extended set, that extended marker, because then you can go in between them. Finally, in this set of 24, we have Vintage Blue. VB1, so a lot of gray in the vintage color. VB2. And... VB3. So that's a nice one. Let me just kind of throw these all back in the box and not arrange them. <laughs> I will, of course. If you know me at all, I'll be getting a marker case for these. And I'll just leave you zoomed in. Let's get out the uh, extended collection. I hope these are all in order, too. That would be nice. Okay, so next up is blue turquoise. Yes, it is. BT2, oh, another beautiful color. BT5 and BT9. Oh, love these seals. Again, kind of a jump, but we do have an extended version. So again, we will be able to combine them. 
So we do have the Blue Turquoise Extend BT3. Yes. Nice. <laughs> nice. Uh, not skip. BT7. But a nice, a better combination. BT8. So again, you can use these three. I'm going to sneeze. Didn't want to do that in your ear. <laughs> All right. We have light green. So now we're getting into the greens. Aren't those aqua blues, those turquoises, beautiful? LG1. LG3. They have a lot of greens in here, which is nice. LG5. So that one's good. We have dull green, DG1, DG3, oh, another jump, I, I think they should have put a DG2 in there, and DG4, but, yeah, would have to see, I guess. So, we have citrus green. CG1, CG2, and they skipped CG3 and went to CG4. All right, we have yellow, green, YG1, YG2. You could almost use this, you know, together also. And YG3. So, yeah, you could use these kind of as a stepping stone to this dark one. All right, let's go to the second sheet. So, even though there are only 48 markers, 48 times 3. Hmm. 100 and what 50 so there's a lot of colors put it that way <laughs> hard to figure out in my head. okay so we are to alpine green ag1 oh that's beautiful love it ag3 and ag5 And green turquoise. GT1. Oh, pretty. GT2. And GT3. See, it's so much better when they go right up the line. And even though it is two and three, they're still a big enough of a jump. Okay, let's get into the next row down here. Come out. I can't get it. There, is this the next one? Yes, okay. Jade Green. I usually love jade colors. That was JG1. JG3. JG7. Hmm. And J, Jade Green Extend. Okay. Another good thing they provided the Extend. So we have JG2. So we have this nice succession of colors if you use the Extend. JG. Four and the JG six. So yeah, again, you can combine these. Wouldn't it be nice if they had an extend for every single color family that they have in here? 
All right, we have gold brown. So now we're getting into our earth tones and some beautiful tans in here. GB6. These have some yellow in. GB10. So we are jumping from 5 to 10, but we do have some in between in the extend because, yeah, that's a huge jump. So, yeah, brown gold extend. GB3. So, again, this is much nicer. GB6. And GB9. So that helps a lot. All right, we have muted brown. MB1. So they do have some beautiful colors. MB3 and MB4. So that one's pretty good. We have tan. TN1. A little bit of pink in these. TN7. That's a huge jump, isn't it? Wow. Again, we have an, our extend, though. Thank heavens. And TN8. So the tan extend is the TN3. Yes. TN6. Oh, yeah, definitely. And TN9. Boy, these are dark, aren't they? <laughs> but you could go, you know, the 7, 8, 9, 6, 7, 8. All right, let's go up to the last column. All right, red, brown, RB1, RB3. To me, these don't look real reddish. <laughs> RB4. Now, to me, these are more red browns. Than those. <laughs> but that's just me. All right, are we starting on the bottom row here? No, that's the extend. So where is earth brown and earth brown extend? Oh, yeah, earth brown blend. Okay, EB1. Up kind of far, aren't I? EB4. And again, we do have the extend for Earth Brown. And EB7. Then we have the Earth Brown extend. EB2. EB5. So I don't know if they got feedback in regard to. You know, some of these are hard to blend, and they added the extend to them. I don't know, because this is the additional set. And EB8. Well, the extend, I believe. Yeah, this is all the additional set. So we have brown, gray. So now we're into our grays. BG2, and they do give you some nice warm grays and cool grays. BG6, and BG9. But, like I said, we do have the extended version of brown gray. So, we have BG1, nice pale gray. BG4 and BG10, which is 
very dark. But again, we have these nice stepping stones between the two. And we have ice gray. IG2, so very much a bluish gray. And then we jump up to IG7, but again, we do have the extend, because yeah, again, huge jump. And IG10. Let's go to that ice gray extend. So we have IG1, the very pale. IG3. So again, those would be nice. And then IG6, which would be nice in between these. Yes, very nice. Then we have a blue-gray BGR1, BGR3, and BGR5. That one's not too bad. And finally, last, but certainly not least, is our green gray, which definitely has a green undertone. GG3 and GG5. So, not too bad. So, as far as grays, yeah, you have undertones in kind of pretty much every single category. We have our warms, cools, and then the blue and the green. So, yeah. Why don't we zoom out and let's take a look at all the colors. And you kind of want to compare them to what they had in their previous set and what changed. So, again, this is the brush tip. The one in the... Um, sleeve protector is uh, the bullet tip. So we do have the one, two, three, one, two, three, one, three, four, and here we have one, two, three. So maybe they thought this was too much of a jump. One, three, five, two, three, five. So yes, um, I don't know. I, I do like this one better. I think one is too light going into three. Here we have six, seven, eight, six, seven, eight. We have, oh, we had, oh yeah, now we have the fair skin extend where we didn't before. Um, in the bullet tip, we didn't have the extend uh, versions. And so they did add that in the brush tips, which is nice. <laughs> so we have coral. Um, so yeah, it, it kind of was a, a bugger to create this from this. <laughs> uh, coral. CR1611, which is a huge jump. And 135. So this one was much nicer. I don't know why they changed it. Oh, that's right. We do have the extend though. So that one's okay then. Um... Burnt orange. See, and by adding the extends, like this one now, we don't have just the plain orange, the ORs. So they did have to do away with some of the color families, which is unfortunate. But you could use the two sets together. One just won't be the brush tip. So we do have the burnt orange, one, two, four, one, two, four, dark red. DR147134. So again, I like the bullet tip one better. Dark red. Now we do have the shades um, in the bullet tip because um, there were a lot of shades. That's what they called it in the bullet tip. I think now in the brush tip, they call them extends. Um, so dark red brush, we have 147. One, three, four, 
and then they also had the five six seven so again i like the one with the shades pale pink one four six one two three to me this is really close this is almost too close though but i think it's better than that I don't know why they changed it. Why just not go to this? Change them a couple that are maybe a, a big jump like the gold yellows. But yeah, I don't know why they changed it unless they think you're going to use both sets together, but I highly doubt it. Uh, pale Pink Extend. Okay, here we have the 2, 3, and 5. Where This, is, this one is called Shades. We have Magenta. One three five one two three. Bright pink. Now we have one four seven. Again, we had one two three, and then the shades were four six seven. Here we have the extend two five six. So kind of have the same color family. Antique pink. AP one three four. Antique pink. Two, three, four. Whereas now we have one, three, four. Hydrangea. HB two, one, two, three, one, two, three. Dusty purple. One, three, four, one, two, three. I don't think that this one is too bad though. Uh, dusty purple. We just did that. <laughs> Pink violet. Now we have one, three, four before we had two, three, four. Again, I like this one better. Lavender, LV123. Lavender is 123. Purple, PL135. Definitely don't like this. Whereas before we had the 234. Much better. Again, I don't know who it was that decided <laughs> the color changes. Ice blue, one, two, three. So that one's nice. Ice blue, one, two, three. True blue, one, four, eight. True blue, two, three, four. With the shades, five, six, nine. So here we have one, four, eight, but we do have three, five, and seven. So that's not too bad. Um, very, very similar. Vintage blue, one, two, three. One, two, three. Blue turquoise, two, five, nine, three, four, five. Now here we do have the extend and the shades. Seven, eight, nine, and three, seven, eight. So very similar with the extend and the shades. Light green, one, three, five, one, three, five. Dull green, one, three, four, one, two, three. Citrus green, one, three, four, and one, two, three. Yellow green. Brush tip is one, two, three. Uh, fine tip is one, two, three. So now we have alpine green, one, three, five, one, three, five. Green turquoise, one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, we have no aqua in the brush. So we jump to jade green. Now we do have the extend in here, and they have shades. They just call it shades. So JG137, and then 246. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7. So kind of a better succession of colors than in here, but not bad. Gold brown brush tip is one five ten, but we do have an extend three six nine. Bullet tip one three five six seven ten. I like the fact that they just took the colors right in order for the shades, whereas these they jumped around for the extend. You know why do they go one three five six nine ten? You know, it just doesn't make sense to me. Muted brown, we have in the brush tip one, three, four, and one, two, four. All right, 
Lastly, we have red brown. Now here we have tan and tan shades. Oh yeah, we do have that here. So we have tan and tan extend. Uh, brush tips, we have 178, but the extend is 369, or is this one that I just went over? I don't think so. Okay, so we have 124 and then 689. So again, pretty similar. All right, then we'll go to the red brown. So, red brown. RB134123. Earth brown. So we do have an extend in the brush, um, the shades in the bullet tip. So we have EB147 and 258 in the brush tip. And the bullet tip 123 and, no, sorry. Well, yeah, 123567. So those all go really well together and these do too just again in a different order brown gray and brown gray extend brown gray and brown gray shades brush tip is two six nine and then one four ten here we have two three four five six seven makes a lot more sense ice gray and ice gray extend Ice gray and ice gray shades. So we have IG1, 7, 10, and I'm sorry, 2, 7, 10, and 1, 3, 6. Over here in the bullet tip, we have three or 2, 4, 5, 6, 8, 9. Again, it's just much easier to pick out um, a combination you know, what would blend together better rather than splitting them up like this. I Again, I'm not sure why they did this because if you have just um, the one set and not the other, of course, these are all new ones in the Extend pack, but I don't know. So that was the ice gray. That's the end of what was in the bullet tips. Um, so we do have a couple of additional ones now in the brush markers. We have this blue-gray, which is 135, and that's not bad. And then the green-gray, which is 135. So those two aren't too bad. So we do have a couple of additional colors in here, but yet they did take a few colors out. They must have had feedback that said they wanted more grays. I would have preferred to still have the orange in here. And what was the other color that they must have taken out? We have dark red, pale pink, magenta, bright pink, antique pink, bright pink, okay. Hydrangea, dusty purple. I'm just curious now <laughs> which other one they took out. Light green, dull green, citrus green. Was it the... No. Okay, I don't know. I'm not going to waste the time, but they must have taken another color out. So, what do you think of the brush tips? Um, overall, as you can tell, I like the color selections from the bullet tips better than the brush. Um, to me, it's rather awkward when you look, go to the extends, um, how they jump around. You know, here it's called shades. So you can buy this and then you, in an extra pack, you buy, you can buy the shades. Um, these, you know, come all in the same pack. Um, but yeah, they could have done one, two, three, and then four, six, I mean four, five, six. Wouldn't that make a lot more sense? Yeah, I don't know the reasoning behind this. And maybe they have a very good reason. Um, and I'm just not aware. But they still are very, very pretty colors. Um, if you're not trying to blend and you're just straight coloring, 
these would be no problem whatsoever um, because they are really pretty colors and I will be making a, a better color chart um, so that I can pick out my colors and then I again if you're not blending them together these it won't be a problem whatsoever to have the colors like this but again if you're more of a blender um, you'll probably want to go you know one three four or something and, and pick amongst them so anyhow i'm just rambling on now so thank you so much for watching this video i really do appreciate it as always if you enjoyed it please hit that like button on your way out and leave any questions comments or concerns down in the comment section below. I love reading through your comments. And of course, if you're not already subscribed, please consider doing so. I hope everybody's having a fantastic day. As always, happy coloring, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.